fun so today is such an exciting day we are actually off to the atlantis water park i have been so excited for this day i love myself a good water park i never used to like i would never want to go to a water park just would always want to go and i just be like oh do we have to like it seems like a lot of effort but we've been to quite a few water parks on our travels we went to one in bali that was amazing we went to one in cyprus that was so good um so i've really come around to the idea of going to a water park and this one in dubai has 105 water slides I know we're going to be that all day and Jasper's really wanting to go so that is what we're doing today so I just made myself some fruit and granola just to because I feel like water parks are so exhausting and they also make me so hungry so I wanted to get some food in before we go. Those blueberries are super sweet apparently the mornings at the water park are super quiet so we want to get there quite early it opens at 9 45 i don't know what the time is now it's currently 9 30 so if we eat this then go we should get there at a reasonable time rubber ring slides and they're so much fun but we just found a beach and it's stunning i feel like we could just spend the day here to be honest yeah it's sick isn't it it's so nice although it's so bright i'm just like squinting yeah i need to i don't know can't see Get some sunglasses anyway let's go on another slide such a fun day at the water park it genuinely was everything i expected plus a little bit more like the slides were so much fun and there were way more rubber ring slides than i was expecting because rubber ring slides are my favorite like don't i don't mind the ones where you just go down like on your like what, what are they called like body slides um but rubber ring slides i just feel like a next level and there were so many of them there and they also had the double rubber ring slides that you could go down so me and jasper could go down together which is so fun can we also please take a moment to appreciate the fact that i went on the biggest slide at the atlantis water park it was the leap of faith and it was so terrifying i wasn't gonna go on it jasper went on it earlier in the day and i wasn't gonna do it i don't know it kind of scares me but i did it 
and it was absolutely terrifying. I had my eyes open for like the first couple of seconds, so I felt the drop, and then the water just splashes up at you, so I had to shut my eyes, but oh my gosh, it was terrifying. Glad I did it. I feel like it's one of those things that you kind of have to do if you go there. Also, in terms of the cost, it costs 60 pound each for us to get in. I think it's actually more expensive if you book directly on the Atlantis water park website. So we actually booked it through a website called Kluke, and we just paid 60 pound each. All we did was just like, google search and had a look through all the websites like get your guide we also looked on agoda but the cheapest place that we could find the tickets was on kluke so i'll leave a link in the description box just in case you want to come to dubai and want to book it but yeah it honestly was so good loved every second of it i'm also not lying when i say going to the water park with jasper is intense like i feel like a lot of people when they go to water parks will have like a little bit of chill time i don't know they'll go lay on the beach we're water slide after water slide after water slide for well it's from 10 and we left at 5 45 so i don't know i don't know what breed jasper is to be honest he's literally sat here just ignoring me if you're going to a water park just go hard or go home innit? <laughs> there's no point in messing about I know I'm definitely going to sleep well tonight and also in terms of the cost of food like it is expensive in there I find it really interesting when people talk about this but the chips we ordered were 25 dirhams and there were also burgers that were around like 60 dirhams which I actually don't think is too bad like everywhere in Dubai is expensive but yeah the food was kind of a similar price to what you'd find it in most places to be honest so yeah it wasn't too badly priced on the food but do you know what was expensive the lockers they were like 60 dirhams or if you wanted a large one that was like 80 dirhams so yeah the lockers were actually really expensive i thought they were included but uh no clearly not good morning everyone so i've just got ready for the day had a shower and we're actually gonna head out it's looking such a nice day today super sunny so we're gonna head out and go get a little coffee from arabica which is my favorite coffee shop in dubai i say in dubai but they actually have them all over the world apparently there's also one in london so when i'm back in the uk will i be making a trip to london to go to one probably so we're gonna grab a coffee and just have a little walk around at jbr and blue waters island all around that kind of area just get a little morning walk in i say a morning walk but we actually woke up really late because i was so knackered after the water park yesterday it was like half nine and i was so ready to go to sleep so i just got in bed and then i fell asleep way before like jasper came in so i must have had at least 10 hours of sleep not gonna lie i have an absolutely massive bruise on my arm i think it's almost gone but before we came to the I got a blood test for my Crohn's disease and I don't know what happened this time but it felt like the same sort of pain as usual like not really I don't actually find them that bad but oh my gosh like the bruising from it don't know what has happened there but anyway let's ignore that <laughs> So we've just come back to the apartment because we've had a little change of plans for today. We didn't actually have a plan for the day and we were just walking by JBR and the beach looks so nice today and it's so hot. So we were like, why don't we just have a little beach afternoon, go chill down there. So that's what we're going to do. I just popped on my bikini, we're just putting some sun cream on, but it's such a gorgeous day out there. I thought we may as well make the most of it. beach was so gorgeous super busy though like that is the probably most touristy beach in dubai i'd say there were just so many children families like loads of tourists basically but yeah i really did enjoy it like it to be fair even though it's busy like it wasn't loud like i was able to sit there read my book and just like chill out and i did really enjoy it obviously jbr is the closest beach to us because we're on the dubai marina and it's literally like 10 minute walk that way so it's super convenient but i do want to try some of the other beaches apparently a really nice beach in dubai is kite beach so i really want to try that at some point but then that is like a taxi journey away so just for the convenience i feel like jbr beach is just so nice and easy to get to but anyway we came back showered i feel way more fresh there's actually nothing better than being all sandy and gross and hopping in the shower it just feels like you're reborn as you get out of it so the other day i bought this big 
French baguette from Waitrose actually. And it's a little bit hard at the moment, so I need to like warm it up, but we're gonna make ourselves some baguettes for dinner. We've got this really nice chicken as well. Uh, what are we gonna have? It's sliced smoky barbecue, which just sounds incredible. So I feel like we're gonna make some like, really nice, like I, I envisage like Subway rolls, you know? So put some sauce in it, lettuce, cucumber. Oh, it's just gonna be so good. So that is what we're having for dinner. Very simple, very basic, but way better than eating out. I think that's the one, I think I said this already in my other vlog, but that's the one thing that helps us save so much money when it comes to traveling is not eating out all the time. Like it can be so expensive. So just being able to have a kitchen and make our own meals at home really helps us just save money whilst traveling. This looks so good. I'm really excited about it. Mm. That's really good. A little bit hard still though. Maybe we should make sure we eat the bread on the day that we get it. Good morning everyone. So it's now the next day. I've just showered and washed my hair and something about the water in Dubai just makes my hair feel so soft and silky. I actually really like it. It's usually really rare because like whenever I go abroad I always find it so like the water not very good but yeah it's really good in Dubai. So this morning I woke up and went to the gym in our apartment block and it's actually such a good gym like there's so much equipment in there like usually whenever it's like a hotel gym or apartment gym it's not very good but this one is really nice so we've just come to a place called Jamira Lake Towers and basically when we were looking for Airbnbs in Dubai a lot of them were located around Jamira Lake Towers and we were sort of arming and in about whether we should get one here or on the marina but obviously we ended up going for the marina because it was what we knew but we thought it'd be so nice just to have a little walk around here see what's around apparently there's a big park here it's meant to be really nice so we've just come here now i think it is just a super residential area and it's only about a 30 minute walk from the marina so you're not like too far out so we will see what we think I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but the water is weirdly blue. It's got to be dyed. Yeah, it must like people be. People dye lakes. Well, I guess it's technically is a lake. It's got to be dyed. That's so strange. This is a floating paddle tennis club. I've never seen anything like that before. That's really cool. You could literally just sit here and watch them play. That's so cool. I actually really want to try paddle tennis. We're currently walking past this really cool looking outdoor gym. It's probably the best outdoor gym I've actually ever seen. Yeah, they usually just have like one or two things. Don't yeah. They? Loads. loads. Should we have a go? Go. <laughs> they just look so awkward. <laughs> like maxes out when you're like not at your back. <laughs> there's so much in here though it is so weird because normally like with those outdoor gyms you just get like one or two pieces of rusty equipment but that was really cool um we're also just currently walking past a big like grassy area so i, f I feel like this is the main kind of park at jamira lake towers and i think there's an actual park as in like a kid's park there. oh cool So we just set up our towel. We just sat down on the grass area and we're gonna have a little picnic in the park. Jasper made us some wraps before we left. So we're gonna have those. This is actually so nice. We were just saying it reminds us a little bit of Australia where you've got maybe like more of like the Gold Coast or Melbourne where you've got lots of skyscrapers but then a really nice park area. It just really gives me like Australia vibes and we loved Australia so I'm not mad about it. about being here is it feels way more residential me and Jasper were just saying that where we're staying like the marina jbr it's just like the tourist hot spot and like everyone goes there especially around like jbr it's definitely way more flashy and Jasper saw a tiktok video the other day that was like dubai is like a simulation because 
everywhere is so clean there are people constantly cleaning the streets like so someone yesterday was sweeping the sand off the steps like and there was hardly any sand they really take like the cleanliness to a whole nother level here there's also like zero graffiti you feel super safe here as well especially as a woman like i would happily walk out at night and go to the shop by myself and feel totally comfortable doing it also one thing that i've noticed is that there's security guards everywhere like literally everywhere you walk there's another security guard there. there's literally a guy in high vis jacket over there that says security i won't film him but there's literally wherever you are there's always security guard so yeah it feels like such a completely different world here but i love it so far it's been so nice and i'm also just super happy that they have loads of nice coffee shops acai bowl places you know all the standard stuff that i love as well just quickly pop back to the apartment to dump our stuff but we're just gonna have a walk around jbr enjoy the rest of the sunshine oh you're right yeah i was pick up <laughs> i know you're all sick of me saying this but daily coffee time back to arabica my favorite place i feel like the whole of dubai we're just going to be going to arabica i even made jasper get a loyalty card because i saw them on the side and i was like we need to get one because every 10 drinks you get a free one so i'm like may as well I got myself a honey latte as well. Whenever, whenever my mom watches my vlog, she's like, another coffee, but it's true. And so does your mum, to be fair. Yeah. It's always, our um, parents are like, what are you doing just getting coffees all the time? But you know, it's our little daily happiness. So, cheers. We're currently sat on this little seating area, looking at the big wheel. It's super busy down here, but the reason why we want to make the most of the sunshine today is because tomorrow it's meant to be cloudy, and then the next day it's meant to be rainy, and we think it's because um, Dubai do cloud seeding, which I had no idea about, but it's where they make their own clouds, and I saw it on TikTok as well, a lot of people were talking about it, but yeah, apparently Dubai make their own clouds and their own rain. There we go, so we've got to make the most of it before they start pumping out clouds into the sky. <laughs> Side. What have we got here? Sorry, mm. <laughs> so we thought we'd treat ourselves to a little oak berry because we've actually only had one since we've one since we've been yeah. So we thought you know it's essential that we get another one. Mm. Still ten out of ten. We're now back at the apartment and we're currently making dinner. We're actually just making a really simple chicken rice and veg. But we also had some nachos and this, I feel like this was a thing that we used to eat when we first started going out. And we always stay at Jasper's, pretty much your house every weekend. Yeah. And we'd always make nachos with either like pulled pork or pulled chicken. It was such a vibe. So I feel like this was like our favorite meal. So we've made some nachos, just cheese, salsa and like nachos. And this tastes really good. You just put it in the microwave and it just melts and it's the best. So we've got a little side dish. I say side dish, but this is quite a big portion of nachos. Um, and then we're also just gonna be having some chicken, rice and veg as well. Cause I am starving today. That acai bowl really, you know, didn't fill me up. Jasper's currently doing the washing up. As per. Because he is just so good at it. So I'm like, you need to do it every time. He hates me. <laughs> so whilst my rice is cooking, I thought we could just talk about like life plans, what is going on at the moment, because a lot of people have been asking me like, what is my plan for this year? Because last year we were very like set in stone with like what our life looks like. And obviously last year we spent the year traveling. So we had like the first, I'd say four months of our year already planned out like in december so last year it felt like we knew exactly what we were doing we had a plan we knew we wanted to travel for most of the year so it was just like i don't know last year felt very different to this year and this year we went into the year with absolutely no plan like we like i genuinely still don't even know what this year holds and it was only two weeks ago that we booked to come to dubai for the month like we're doing things very spontaneous and it was the same as stockholm we literally booked stockholm like it was about a week before wasn't it uh, or two weeks before two as well weeks, then, yeah. so all our travel plans are very spontaneous so after this month in dubai we actually don't have anything else planned oh that's my rice going off but yeah, after this month in Dubai, we didn't have any other plans. So it's really weird to like, I don't genuinely don't know where life is going to take me. But I'm pretty sure after Dubai, we're just going to head back home and then just kind of see where we're at with money, see if there's any like cheap flights anywhere and just do things a little bit 
like spontaneous and I actually kind of love it like I'm such a control freak I love planning I love knowing like where I'm gonna be in like six months time but this year is just gonna be spontaneous it's gonna be spontaneous travel we're gonna take each month as it comes so my priorities for this year is still travel but slightly slower travel so we can like fully enjoy a place and also try and stick to more of a budget which does sound a little bit ridiculous seeing we are in Dubai but you know that's so we're working on <laughs> there are just so many places on my travel list that i'm like i'm definitely not done with travel anytime soon anyway i should probably finish cooking dinner <laughs> guys the nachos are done they look so good do you want to come try one jasper we should get some pulled pork or pulled chicken and make these properly mm -hmm. that'd be so good They weren't lying about the fact it was gonna rain today because I woke up this morning, looked straight out the window and it wasn't actually meant to rain until like 3 p.m. But looked out the window and it's already raining. So I don't know what we're gonna do today. I think we're just gonna end up having a nice chill day. But it, is, it has been pouring down. It wasn't meant to rain until 3 p.m. But it's been pouring down all morning. So if this is a result of their cloud seeding, then it was a success for sure. It's just super gloomy, but you can see in the puddles it raining so yeah this is the uh vibes for today but anyway i really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it does really support my channel and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos and i shall see you in the next dubai vlog bye